In the old days, all you needed for the website was an HTML file. You could add some CSS for styling and JavaScript for interaction. And that's it. But things have changed. Nowadays, you probably want a UI library like React, maybe Firebase for storing user data, Auth0 for login, Stripe for payments, the list goes on and on. Some of those modules use CommonJS, and some are ES modules. You need to minify your code so that load times are actually decent, and you need to make sure all your code is included in the right order. It's a developer's nightmare. The solution? Webpack. Webpack is a module builder. Its main purpose is to bundle many JavaScript files into a single file. It can also do much more, like handling dependencies, transpiling ES and CommonJS modules, and improves load times by minifying your code. You can also use Webpack plugins to do a variety of other things. Here I have a simple to-do list. Let's see how you can use Webpack to convert all the JavaScript files into one single file. First, install Webpack from npm. Then, create a config file that specifies options to Webpack. Now, to actually bundle the code, we can run Webpack with the config file. And there we go, we have the bundle in a folder. Now, instead of importing all the JavaScript files, we can import just the bundle on the HTML. Let's run the code, and there we go, it works. That was Webpack in 100 seconds, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.